Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm still in shock. Oh, yeah. Yes. It was sort of a double whammy. You, you, I mean, you got very close to finishing the book today. You, you ha only had oh, a few just pages. A few pages. Yeah, so we just decided to go ahead and yeah, finish boy, the movie. It was, um, it was wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's weird. I've never uh, read or uh, watched a movie like this before. I don't know what to think about all this stuff. I'm freaky bit now. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You certainly seem to be I, enjoying it though. I know. That's a problem. <laughs> and I couldn't put the book down. Oh, yeah, yeah, you that made it uh, had work to do, but I wanted to read. All sorts of things happen in this one though. Harry's fourteen and he's going off to school again. This time there's a tri wizard mm -hmm. tournament going on. Yeah. You got different schools. And, and a dance. Yeah, yeah, the dance. You, which, which of those did you enjoy? The, the dance was, was a little uh, disappointing. In the movie? <laughs> in the movie, yeah, yeah. In the movie. Ron and Harry just were not happy with their dates. No. They just wasn't. They fooled around too long. And, and but there's two little old pretty girls with them, and they should have just went on and been happy with them. Yeah, yeah, they were pretty girls. And yeah, they were pretty little girls, twins. And they did those little twins. Uh, they wasn't very gentlemanly. No, they weren't. Girls. Yep, like, they were upset. Yeah, they, I guess the one that had the, <clears throat> the best, <clears throat> the one that had the best time was probably <laughs> Hagrid. Yeah. <laughs> A Dumbledore was out there with uh, that uh, woman that wears a hat like a witch. <laughs> Professor McGonagall. Yeah. Yeah, they made a pretty good pair of tea. Um, the, the uh, yeah, and of course Hermione was pr seemed pretty happy with Victor. She was mad at Ron. She, yeah, she did. She seemed to have a good time until the end of the day. Yeah. yeah at the end of it, you know. Uh, because Ron was being all pouty. Uh-huh. And, and she had a hard time there to end. And I thought in the movie that Ron was uh, not nearly as likable as he was in the book. And picture him in the book. He seemed to be uh, not such a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, you know, you were commenting a little bit about that. You were saying, yeah, yeah. the books have a lot more to them and, mm -hmm. and things. So far, do, do you like the book better or the movie? You know? well, I guess I would say that I like the book better because I read the book and I kind of knew what to expect in the movie. And, and there were so many things. The little elves. Yeah, know, I, I, I missed Dobby and Winky. Uh-huh. Are they... Uh, were both pretty important characters. Yeah, and then of course another thing, poor old Ron, that the, uh, gown that he had to wear. <laughs> I know, right? It was I all. Mean, <laughs> I mean, that poor boy. Get, but, uh, not only did he get the girl he wanted to take to the dance, but he had to wear that. I guess it's a little bit more understandable yeah. why he was upset. <laughs> so what did you think of Victor? Victor Victor was okay. He, he was okay. He, and you're still not sure about Snape? I don't know. He's not a very friendly fellow. He's mean to Harry. He is. I mean, he don't, he don't seem to like Harry at all, so I, I still believe he's got a little bit of Voldemort in him. Oh, yeah? Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, what about Rita Skeeter? I know she has. <laughs> She's full of it. <laughs> she is. And, and tried her best to get Harry. Uh, she happened. Uh, her run. <laughs> Money. <laughs> That's good enough. Uh, she and she just happened to be hugging Harry all of a sudden for some odd reason. And Rita happened to just right up on it. And then she 
I wrote a story about their romance. Yep. And it was nothing. That was just, she just made that up. Yep, causing trouble. Yeah, she's just a journalist. <laughs> but that's the way she made her living, I guess. Well, I mean, you, you can yeah. make a, a living yeah. telling the I truth, guess, too, though, I you guess know? when you write something like that for the paper, you have to add a little bit of something to it. Well, you have to spice things just a little bit, mm -hmm. but usually you try and spice it in a truthful way. Mm -hmm. In a truthful way. Yeah, I mean, you, you give details. You don't, you don't make up details. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If it was really a love affair, it was a love affair, but if it was just friendship, it was just friendship. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So do you have a uh, favorite moment or favorite character in this book? Mm -hmm. And you can't say Harry. <laughs> I can't say Harry. We all, we all know Harry's your ultimate favorite, but if you had to choose a second favorite or a second uh, a favorite moment... I, I guess that I would have to go with... Uh, Cyrus Black and his, his he's a godfather to, you told me not to mention Harry and here I go again <laughs> because he don't have no family at all and he got to writing to him and sending letters and meeting him and uh, so your favorite touching. character isn't Winky <laughs> <laughs> when I read Winky he's a big uh, crybaby yeah now Dobby he's a go-getter you know he wants to work. If, if everybody wanted to work like Dobby and make some money, <laughs> <laughs> things would be different, even in our country. Yes. What was your favorite part? I think that uh, Hermione has some rather wonderful moments in the book, especially of uh, <laughs> with her. SPEW uh, organization. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was hilarious because she is so yeah. well-meaning mm -hmm. and so completely wrong. She kind of took to the little elves like a lot of people takes to puppy dogs and kitty cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and she didn't mm -hmm. she didn't treat them like people. She treated them like they they were, you uh -huh. know, and that was kind of the problem there. She mm -hmm. thought she knew best. Yeah. And there's, there's some of them other characters that uh, are pretty, pretty, pretty fair, pretty fair. But mm -hmm. of course, he liked Cedric pretty well there for a, for a little I while. I did. I did like. I did like him a lot. Yeah. I did like him a lot. He was nice to Harry in the maze. He was nice to Harry. I thought there when I was reading the book that that maybe he was just under a spell or some kind that. There's so many different weird things that I thought maybe he would come back to come back to life, but he was dead. Yeah. And I guess Voldemort done it, didn't he? He did. Well, it was Wormtail with Wormtail. using the wand. And you told me you were a little upset that Harry had achieved it with without no unknowingly being cheated on. Yeah, you know, yeah. on his behalf, mm -hmm. people cheated on his behalf. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was disappointed uh, there at the end when uh, I thought I wanted one of them to really win. Yeah, you know him or, uh, and then I thought it was such a great idea when they decided to get the cup at the same moment. Yeah, I thought they were being such uh, nice guys and. Uh, and just showing the way we should be. I mean, even in sports. I mean, uh, the, the, like the two of them have the glory as well as as one. That was nice of them. I like that. <laughs> it's a well. The other big event, though, Baltimore. He's back. He's back in full. Yes, he's got a body now. Yeah, they're, they're both of their wands had the phoenix feather in it. They did, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that time, that was to Harry's advantage. Yeah. If he hadn't, they hadn't had that 
their wands hadn't have been like that, then he might have killed Harry right there. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a good thing. Mm -hmm. What do you think of Voldemort? Yeah. He's he's pretty ugly looking, isn't he? Oh, he is. He's so ugly. But... Mm. And which one of them would turn into the werewolf? Oh, that was Professor Lupin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Back in the other book. Yeah, he's out of it now. now this... Well, not. I mean. You... Is you that, never know. Their characters kind of come back in and out, and they mention them, and you find out what's happening with them, and especially what with Voldemort being back, everybody tends to get involved, and you learn more about the broader wizarding world and kind of what's going on. And I mean, mm -hmm. we've learned, you know, in this book, all sorts of revelations about some characters we already knew. We found out about Neville's parents. We found out. Yes. We found out that Severus Snape used to be a Death Eater. Yes. I really hated to learn that. Uh, Neville. Neville, yeah. Ne Neville, that his parents, what had happened to his parents, and he had never talked about it at all. And that was sad. That was really, I mean, I never dreamed that Crouch, his son, would still be living. Yeah. And was one that was uh, uh, doing a lot of stuff. Yeah, the writer, she was leading you off, giving you red herrings and misdirecting you and all sorts of things going on. Yeah, yeah very, very much so. And they had that, the real, I see, now who was in the trunk? Oh, that was the real Mad-Eye Moody. Yeah. That was the real. Yeah, because Barty Crouch had been impersonating him all that time. He was using the uh, polyjuice potion to transform into Moody. Mm -hmm. And he put the real Moody in a trunk, mm -hmm. kept him captive so that nobody could and, find out. And Snap had accused Harry. Yeah, because he uh, thinks Harry does everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a little bit of a monomaniac. He, he, don't, he don't have no use for Harry at all. He has no social life either. No, he thinks Harry, he don't think Harry is. But I, I think Harry's good. <laughs> you still like Harry. I still like Harry. I like Ron less. At I least did. in the movie, mm -hmm. yeah. What do you hope happens in the next in the next book? I hope that it gets a little more romantic and a little less scary. Oh yeah. I believe that Harry and her my runny. Close. Close. Her, her my Oh, me. there we go. That they form a romantic relationship. Mm -hmm. Mama, and now Cho doesn't have a boyfriend. That's true. Cho is single now. Oh. Yep. So Cedric's death not completely without <laughs> without its. Uh, and Harry, I think Harry likes her better than he does. He does at this point, anyway. At this point, one thing I liked there at the end, it seemed like that uh, Harry and Hermione. There we go, you're getting it. He said, Harry said he'd write to her every week. Oh yeah, well, he didn't seem very convincing. Well, I don't believe Harry'd lie. <laughs> I do. Yeah. He was like, oh, good look. I mean, he's been through some hard times. And that place upon his head really hurt. Being us, we'd been taking all kind of uh, pills. <laughs> well, next time we'll eat candy kisses. And, and yep. We don't have no uh, pumpkin juice, do we? No, we don't. Or butter beer. Or butter beer? <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine what butter beer is. I think it's supposed to be kind of like butterscotch tasting drink. It, it doesn't have alcohol in it. Oh, um, it doesn't? There, you can get them with alcohol, I think. I'm not sure. Um, but you, you can get a non-alcohol. Well, there's not for really it. no such thing. Well, they invented one because <laughs> because people were so curious. So what did you think Why of... Why didn't you bring me a bottle? <laughs> well, we ran out of money at that yeah. point. Yeah. And I think my scarf's awful pretty. My granddaughter Sarah made this. And yeah. She's a very talented little Girl. She's not a little girl anymore, I tell you. She's beautiful. 
I think mine's pretty than you. Oh, that that's just because you like Harry's colors. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I just plain like these colors. Well, no, I like yours, too. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Well, you know, you're technically Ravenclaw. Mm-hmm. Technically. So you really ought to be wearing blue, but you, you're just so so stuck on Harry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I guess we'll continue on to the fourth book. Well, fifth book, yeah. Fifth book, fifth book. <laughs> yeah, all sorts of things that are going to go on. Yeah. I hope so. I'm looking forward to it. You have to put it on my Kindle. Yeah, I will. In the meantime, we better go ahead and cut off. Yeah. Okay. Good night. Good night, Harry. I tell you, somehow Harry can fly. Yeah. Would you like to do that? Yeah, sometimes.